How goes it, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Patterson of Properties Thoughts and um, hopefully resolutions for the day. So anyways, quick video. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Um, watching a couple of videos on YouTube and doing some reading and having discussions with um, colleagues in regards to real estate. And one thing I noticed with a lot of young people, it's not even really talked about for them getting out of high school, college, the military, uh, um, commercial real estate and really or even getting into a franchise that becomes your own commercial real estate in regards to you don't you don't see enough young people saying when i get out of high school or college i want to own a gas station um i want to own a car wash i want to own something that usually you would see within a community of some sorts that people need to utilize on a regular basis from a small convenience store to a little mini delivery business you, you don't really, and those businesses are usually located on some sort of a property. And a lot of times if you own these, a specific commercial property, somebody will, you will have a tenant that needs to occupy that space. Obviously, if you do your research and you see if the, if the population is going up or if the population is going down, things of that nature. But um, especially for a lot of young African-Americans, um, the mindset of, hey, let me own a gas station. You know, most of us, we have to gas up our cars once or twice a you know, week, depending on, you know, where you're going on a regular basis. But it's it's just one of those things. You don't see enough of those kind of owners, people who own um, gas stations like that, especially in specific um, lower income areas. You know, it's like take it, take, try to take advantage of um, those specific things like that. And then another thing, if you are really a part of a community, don't just use these big corporate banks, man. You start using these um, these smaller community banks, you know. Like, I utilize One United Bank. You know, that's a small community bank. And there are multiple. Obviously, you go online, do your own research. So I to start utilizing these uh, uh, local community banks who will probably have a better relationship with you and, and most likely employs most of the people from your community and uh, the people who run those, those smaller branches, obviously because they're community banks, have more of a stake in seeing the community thrive, not just their banks thrive all at the same time. So just a little note, just a couple of thought patterns I had in regards to um, what one, especially since it's the graduation uh, time of the year and you got all these kids graduated from high school, graduated from college. So it's just something I just had on my mind. I figured I'd share with you all any thoughts or anything of that nature. Please let me know. But um, we need more people that, that want to be owners and not just workers. We have enough workers, high paid workers. We have enough um, people that are climbing that ladder. We need more people that want to have more of an owner's mindset and want to have conversations about how they can become an owner of a specific franchise, especially commercial real estate, and um, so that they can make more decisions and maybe even have something to pass down to their family. So just a little thought for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please share, please like, and definitely please subscribe to my Patterson Hill Properties um, YouTube page. And uh, there's a property I have I'm wholesaling right now in Woodbridge. It's on my Facebook page, and I will definitely uh, share it again. So if you want to take a stab at it, it's going to be open house this, this week on uh, this Thursday, and I will be, definitely be there. So if you are interested in the house, I will definitely um, put that information in the caption, and um, we can go from there, all right? So take care and have a good day.